was ordained to be an evangelist the reason why he may not be an evangelist is or will be determined by whether or not he allows himself to come under the influence of god's authority you see the moment you place yourself under god's authority he has the latitude to manipulate your life and to bring it into conformity with god's intent with his plan with his purposes if you do not deliberately come under the authority of god he will have no opportunity to manipulate your life and to shape it so that your life comes into conformity with his eternal plan listen to me and listen carefully as we make progress listen if you go to if you leave this session i like i want to challenge you to go take your bible and study what god offered adam initially because god will always bring to pass his plan so what plan did god have with adam what was he offering him in the garden of eden that he lost have you thought about it because it's the same plan that god is still unfolding that god is still administering now so what exactly was god offering adam what did adam lost what what fell off him was it his pause that fell off his loss what was it oh you're not with me are you with me what adam lost was the opportunity to operate under god's authority and as long as he cannot operate under god's authority he cannot become god's he cannot become what god intended for him to be what salvation did to us was that it gave us the opportunity to come under the kingdom of god again but you see the extent to which god will have the liberty to influence your life is de is dependent on your willingness to yield to his mighty hand so if you look at your life today your life is exactly reflective of the level of submission to god's mighty hand that you have allowed it is critical for us to understand that the bible even though the bible speaks about many subjects there are many subjects you can teach from the bible the bible is actually a book of the kingdom the bible reveals how god administers his kingdom the resources he has put in place in order for his kingdom dream to find expression and the extent to which that dream will find expression in your life is dependent on how you decide to recognize the authority of god and to submit under such authority so apostle john was not just a companion in tribulation he was also a companion in the kingdom are you with me oh my god i say are you with me yes. and the bible still calls him our, our companion in the patience of jesus christ there is a patience that unto which we have been called it is a demand for us to align with procedure there is a procedure with which god will make you the personality that he wants you to be this protocol of patience has two aspects but that's not my subject i'm just trying to introduce a very serious matter do you get that there is there is a requirement of patience in our work with god and john is telling us that i am fully compliant with the systems and protocols of patience that god has put in place to make me who he wants you see part of what satan wants to achieve in your life is to make you anxious so that you break the pr protocol of that patience that is required of you to become exactly what god has ordained so you will notice that john's qualification his curriculum vitae is fourfold 
he is our brother are you there he is our companion in tribulation are you there he is our companion in the kingdom and he is our companion in the patience of jesus christ i've seen i've seen a lot of people that are laboring for god and because of the rigor of the patience their heart fails them and they feel that god is not fair that's a test of patience every one of us will go through the procedure to test your patience capacity have you ever thought of have you ever thought of jesus on the cross i don't want to take you into the science how they came about the suffering that way of killing people it's a it's a slow way and your organs will be collapsing one after the other in a very slow way they will begin to fail and you will feel the pain of every aspect of the process now that kind of pain is the way uh, the romans break soldiers maybe he has a secret that he wants to conceal if you put him under the pressure of crucifixion he will divulge the secrets in his soul because of the meticulous nature of the suffering it comes it, it, it doesn't come at once so there's enough time so while jesus was on that cross there were many opportunities that he had to to deny god to change his conviction so it required patience and in the making of men there is a requirement of patience that each and every one of us will be subjected to only those among us that can survive the process will become god's men are you with me now this is just his own his cv the cv of a brother all right now 